What's up, y'all? Uh, sitting in my room right now, not outside of a theater this time. Theater this time. Oh, misspoke there. Not outside of a theater this time because I didn't go to a theater to see the movie today. Um, by the title of the video, you can probably already tell, I uh, saw Hustle by um, the uh, the Netflix, Netflix original film with uh, Adam Sandler. Um, kind of an underdog basketball um, movie. He plays uh, a, a scouting agent for the uh, 76ers who uh, tra um, gets put on assignment to uh, find one more uh, missing piece for the uh, the Phillies. The Phillies, that's a baseball team. The uh, the 76ers, same city, but um, yeah, the 76ers, um, so that he can be done with that job and move on to uh, the assistant coach job that he really wants. Um, overall, I went into this one uh, with almost kind of low expectations, I would say. Um, I was excited to see another more um, dramatic... I say dramatic. This one wasn't probably as much of a drama as uh, Uncut Gems was. But um, just seeing an Adam Sandler in something other than a Adam Sandler-esque uh, slapstick comedy... Um, but once again, kind of low expectations. Uh, wasn't thrilled by the trailers I saw um, the other night when uh, Adam Sandler, when he went to uh, Jimmy Fallon, he was on the Tonight Show. Uh, they previewed a clip or something like that, and I was like, eh. it didn't really jump out to me and excite me that much. And um, I think it helped uh, going in with low expectations because this movie wasn't, great by any means necessary but it wasn't a dumpster fire um if that makes any sense it was just you know it was another uh, uh kind of underdog sports movie um which doesn't really bring anything new to the table if you know um we, we've seen hundreds i say hundreds um we've seen a lot of underdog sports movies in the past let's if if it's a sports movie most likely going to be an underdog, uh, tale, um, so, yeah, and didn't really bring anything new to the table in terms of story, necessarily, but, um, in terms of filmmaking, this was shot kind of more, um, in a documentary meets, I'm sorry if you heard that sound, I, um, accidentally hit my, uh, door stopper, um, Documentary meets, uh, kind of narrative, uh, filmmaking, um, which won't work for everybody, um, but I kind of liked it, it, um, it added a more grounded approach, a more realistic feel, um, which was good, in my opinion, um, so, yeah, and when I say kind of documentary meets narrative um some of the camera work some of the just like overall set design using non-actors there was most of this film other than like adam sandler um queen latifah uh yeah that's basically it um most of them were people involved with the nba like actual uh, NBA players, or, um, in the case of Bull, the, uh, the main basketball player that Adam, uh, Stanley, his name's Stanley in the movie, Adam's character Stanley, goes and recruits, um, he's a, Sp a Spanish basketball player, so, yeah, he'd fit the role, um, yeah, but, uh, using non-actors, so, I will say this is a movie for a targeted audience, this really is a movie for either Adam Sandler fans or for NBA fans. Like if, if you're an NBA fan, you'll, you'll pick up a lot more on this and you'll, um, enjoy a lot more. But if you're just a movie fan, if you're a casual movie fan, this one might not be the one for you necessarily. Um, not that it's a bad time. I won't, I won't say it, but I won't say it's a bad movie by any means. Um, but what helped me definitely was because of my history with basketball. Um, you know, being a player 
somewhat in high school, uh, still playing pickup to this day. I don't really follow the NBA that much, but I was pretty obsessed with the NBA back in like middle school, uh, early high school. So yeah, um, that kind of helped me enjoy the movie a little more. And, uh, like I said before, um, it was good, good to see Adam Sandler in another kind of dramatic role. Um, can't wait to see his new project that he's doing with the Safdie brothers again. Um, it, it, these roles for him are, I will say they're a lot better than him trying to redo or re-spark that kind of like magic he had in like the 90s where he was just like the goofy guy, um, you know, do, doing all his slapstick stuff. Doesn't really work that much anymore. Not that it's horrible, but it's just, it's coming past. So I'm glad to see him doing more projects like this because he's good in them. He's honestly like really excellent in them. And um, that's really all I have to say for that. Um, some of the dramatic moments in this movie didn't work out uh, in the way that I think the filmmakers thought they would. Um, that kind of, nobody's fault in particular, but just kind of like the overall culmination of it all, like kind of the writing, the directing, the acting, uh, just didn't work in some of the more tense moments. Um, so that, there was a couple low points throughout that, but other than that, not a horrible experience, uh, not a great movie, like not one of the all-time great movies, not one of, the, not even probably one of the all-time great sport movies, but it exists, and you know, if you're interested, I would say check it out, form your own opinion, as always, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.